the Don and in Johanna Kuber. And also, obviously, I know you spoke about Kuning, yeah. uh, but the strategy. Yeah, um, I really believe that Kuning was awesome today, and not just Kuning, Trevor as well. I think you must always take it in uh, consideration that most of the team has never played here. Uh, it's totally different when you play away from home in these conditions, and, and uh, you know, it's a tough crowd, and it's a total new environment, and most of these guys uh, haven't even played away from home. So I thought Kuni and, uh, and Trevor did brilliantly. It was a huge, huge, huge character test for them, because Kuni has been under huge pressure uh, for you know for scrummaging and he, he probably scrum against the, one of the best uh, front rows in world rugby so ticked all the boxes I've said Nizam has been running great lines in training and uh, the test team now has taken where there isn't a lot of uh, uh, space and in a tough test match and uh, he came through with flying colors uh, especially when the game opened up and uh, you know what I, what I like about this test match it was a typical tactical test match and uh, Johan was tested I thought he was superb uh, when the game opened up, it was always the, the um, plan to, to bring uh, Billy on. Um, the one area I think we weren't really covered was fullback, although Zane have never let us down and he's always an option. But I think now with uh, Johan showed that he can play there, Billy has been superb and uh, Pat can also play there. So he ticked all the boxes. Like I said, you know, three tight heads out, end of last year we struggled, France came through, Kuni came through against France. Suddenly Julian is coming through, so I'm very, very happy of the state of, uh, you know, I won't say South Africa rack, I can't claim that, but I'm very happy of the state of all our players. Suddenly we've got a lot of, lot of guys coming through. Um, if you just look at the fl at our fly off so uh, I think we can pick a very, very, very experienced and very good um, side that's going to the World Cup and for the next few test matches. So, uh, you know, I remember when I picked the side, people says, you know, I should gamble more, but we always have respect and knew it's going to be tough. But if you look at the bench, Nazam coming on, um, Julian coming on, even a guy like Luet is still a youngster. Um, you know, it's a lot to learn, especially away from home. Start with Opa and Trev, two guys that hasn't even played uh, Super Rugby this year most of the time. So a uh, lot of new guys thrown in. And again, I, I thought uh, the way John has handled this week, I've said I'm going to stand on the back and uh, want them to take more lead. Uh, I really thought physically we were there, we really climbed in and uh, you know, this is a type of game we're in a lose-lose. I really thought we played great, I'd rather take a game like this where you scored five tries and give three away. So 16-point uh, cushion, great game, three tries, uh, I didn't give them six points, no points in the second half. So uh, in my book, great test match. Mm. Henneke, just, I suppose, took some steps forward, but the line took a couple of steps back today. Definitely. Well, we tried something new. Um, you know, um, again, you always have to go back to basics. We tried something new, tried the back ball, and it didn't work. And I thought if we, one of our strengths is that uh, we usually score tries when we go for the, for the rolling mall. Again, you know, um, you have to, I really want this tour to all be about pressure because that's what you're going to face in the World Cup. And, uh, you know, to miss three, especially with Victor there, three lineups right at the back is unusual. And usually that gives us a cushion to build the innings. Suddenly that didn't work. And we had to grind out to win and came through at the end. And so you need that. It's not acceptable at this level, but uh, we needed games like this, and especially with a lot of youngsters and a lot of new guys under pressure. So um, that was the one area that uh, every other area I was very happy with. You know, the, the, the breakdown is uh, still a tough area to talk about. Uh, you know, if you don't get quick ball, uh, you know, they got quick ball. I thought we were really disciplined at the breakdown. So that's one area. Whenever we get quick ball, we look like playing rugby the last 10 minutes. But uh, that's an area that uh, everybody in the world, I think, should need to look at. But we handled it well, and like I said, if it wasn't for the scrams firing, we would have been in big trouble because then they kick for the corner, it gives them energy, they drive from that, and it's a 55th. I think the fact that we handled the scrams so well took the energy away and um, you know, gave us a lot of energy. Did you want to talk about some of the breakdown? Uh, we spoke about the reaction time, just the defense seemed to be up really quickly. How do you feel when the other, especially when they were on the defense? Yeah, I, I, I don't think. I don't think our reaction was a was a problem. I, I thought we were really committed uh, at the breakdown and defensively and, and taking the ball up. Um, but the breakdown was a bit of a mess mess tonight. Um, so we'll have a look at that again. Uh, we need to you know we need to adapt to the um, the application of of the uh, of the rules and um, you know just be more effective because um, you know at times that probably cost us. You know the rucks just being. A second too late, and that um, they're taking away the opportunity to score tries. Uh, obviously, got some level as well. You have the, 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 the 
Yeah, yeah. The, the, there was a lot of niggle, um, and and I thought our guys controlled controlled the emotions pretty well. So uh, there were no penalties against us for for that, for ill discipline or <coughs> off the ball stuff. Uh, even though we did concede a lot of penalties, I, I'm not too sure what the penalty count was, but it, it definitely felt as if it was uh, very much against us. But um, from a discipline point of view, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. John, did you, did you feel the slow poison out there tonight? Did you feel like? <laughs> yeah, it, it did, and it, and it probably it probably came a little bit later than, than what we expected. Um, you know, even the first half, we had we had so many opportunities. We applied so much pressure, and we just didn't get the the scoreboard pressure that we wanted, and uh, and the reward for our attack. So, um, you know, it's again one of those one of those games where it's uh, it, it just not working out. But um, you know the. The one, the one thing this team never lacks, um, or when the, this team doesn't lack uh, commitment, then you know, then we'll win games. It, it might not be pretty, but we'll win. And and I think tonight was one of those occasions where the guys were very committed. We probably um, we probably felt we were we were better than than, than 16 points better than them. Um, but we'll take it, and, and, uh, and now it's another tough game uh, ahead on, on Saturday next week. One more, please. Yeah, Masset was a quite emotional week for me. I've coached Baki since he was uh, probably 19 years old. And uh, first of all, I'm very proud of the not just the players he's turned out, but the type of human being as well. Uh, you know, he's respected throughout the world. He's won every trophy almost there's been. Um, you know, going to Toulon, I thought, I really thought I'd, I wasn't sure if Bakis will last a week in Toulon. And, uh, you know, winning Heineken Cup, and, and, and it's always been a success story. But, you know, you can say a lot of things, and that's PR, and it sounds good, but I think that's, that, that really stood out for me, and, and that's the type of character he is. He's, uh, when I saw him for one-on-one -on -one this week, uh, he said to me that he, he can't put his body on the line. Uh, every single training session, every single game, and, and, and uh, the Springbok jersey is bigger than any individual. And it just reminds me, you know, again, what the Springbok stands for. Uh, I was taken aback because I wanted to give Luet a chance because next week I felt Luet need the game time. And uh, I was taken back and said, Bakis, I really believe that. Uh, let me think about it. I want to give you one last game because, uh, you know, you've been such a great character and uh, you've been such an ambassador for the box so I want to give you one last game I want you to start and then bring you know big, uh, uh, Yeben or, or Lued on and he said coach you know I truly believe that um, you must you've made up your mind I don't want to start um, you know I've played against England I'm very very happy I'm in a good space and um, it's time now for the youngsters to take over got me in as a mentor I've done that I give you everything and uh, you know I'm too, too proud to go out there and just get a jersey for free. My body is not there, I can't train, I'm really, really hurting and uh, if I can't give 100%, 100% of the time, but the thing that stood out with that is uh, every single player will probably play one last test. And But the thing that really impresses me is that he said he doesn't want it to be out in the media, he doesn't want it to be out with the players there because then usually there's a lot of media and it's all about him. And you know, to stand back, put the spring box first, put the team first and says he doesn't want any emotion out there, he'll, he'll announce it after the game. It's not about team, it's about the team. You know, that takes a lot of character. Uh, you know, to stand back and put your own ego uh, behind the team or not I don't know what's the English word. Uh, I mean, that is the type of man he is and um, he's a true warrior and we're definitely going to miss him. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm the same. If I can't give 100%, 100% of the time, you shouldn't be playing for the box or coaching the box or whatsoever. So, uh, you know, I expect that of every single player and uh, what a great cap uh, gentleman, what a great warrior for the game, what a great example for the youngsters. And it was very emotional now when he told the team. <coughs> so I'm really happy that we could have uh, you know, won today for him. And even more so that we beat England in his last game. Um, maybe just say that uh, I've also spoke to him again yesterday, of course I couldn't believe it. And he said that uh, there's a lot of injuries and I definitely need him, he will consider. So uh, <laughs> that in my back of my mind, that's always a, a little positive. And I know, you know he's still going to play too long. So, he is available, but I think um, I respect what, he, what he's done and what he said. But he's a, you know, he's an unbelievable player. Like I said, uh, true legend of the game, true warrior, and, and he's it epitomizes for me the Springbok spirit.